Hey, I'm Katie with REI, and today we're going to be inflating a bike tire. This process is the same regardless of what kind of valve you have, but Schrader and Presta are both common. Since Presta is slightly more complicated, we'll do that one today. Alright, so step one, find and open the valve. Here we are. I like to rotate it so that the valve is down at the bottom of the tire. Just personal preference, it makes it a little easier to use the pump, but it's not necessary. It'll work the same regardless of where the valve is on the tire. Next up, take the cap off if you have one, no worries if not, and unscrew the nut so it's up at the top of the valve rather than sitting down at the stem. You should be able to press on the valve and let a little bit of air out to know that you have the nut up all the way and to make sure the valve isn't stuck or clogged. Now we have our bike pump. Uh, most pumps have a lever attachment like this. You can pull the lever up to lock it in. Some of them have a press-on attachment. Either is fine. Push it onto the valve, pull the lever up to lock it into place, and now we're ready to add air. You can add air up to the PSI that's labeled on the side of your tire. All right. Now we just do all those steps in reverse. Lever down, pump off, you can set that down, and now we'll just want to screw the nut back down to where it was. You can press on the valve again to make sure there's no air coming out. Cap back on, and you're good to go. So that's all there is to it. A quick note on bike pumps, most of these guys will handle Schrader and Presta valves just fine. If you happen to find one that only does one type of valve, usually it just requires a little adapter to go from Schrader to Presta, and you're good to go. If you're curious for more, check out our other bike videos and subscribe, and until then, we will see you next time.